Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about emitter coupled clipper. So, it is a type of transistor clipper, emitter coupled clipper. That means there are two transistors. It is the name clearly tells that emitter coupled. When the coupling is done, there may be more than one. So, emitters of two transistors are coupled together and given to a resistor and then a voltage supply. See, this is the circuit diagram of emitter coupled clipper. There are two transistors, namely Q1 and Q2. The emitters of these two transistors are connected together, tied up and taken a resistor as emitter resistor. The current flowing through this emitter resistor I and goes to the minus VEE. Here this current I is a combination of the currents coming from emitter 1 and as well as emitter 2. Okay, suppose if Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state, then I is equal to only I1, I2 is equal to 0. And when Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state, then I is equal to only I2, not I1 because I1 is equal to 0 as the transistor is in off state. Okay, in this way, the current, it's a combinedly, the current, combined current is flowing through the resistor R where I is equal to, you can say I is equal to I1 plus I2 simply. Okay. Now, observe the remaining parameters. What are the parameters that are given here? Uh, this transistor Q2 is having a base B2 that is connected to a fixed biasing supply VBB2. Okay. Here, the biasing supply VBB2 is adjusted in such a way that the transistor Q2 is said to be operated in a active region. Okay, Q2 initially operated in active region because it is provided with a sufficient input biasing supply. And coming to the transistor Q1, where the input voltage is the main voltage that is connected at the input of this transistor Q1. Now, the variations of the input will vary the action of the transistor. So, sometimes it may be on, sometimes it may be off or sometimes it may be in amplification region or active region. Based on the actions of this transistor Q1, the Q2 also changes its action. Okay, we cannot say the Q2 continuously it is in on state or it is in active region continuously. I told you one point, VBB2 is adjusted to make the transistor Q2 is in on state or active region, sorry, active region. Okay, VBB2 is adjusted to make the transistor Q2 is in active region, but it should be depending on the other voltage also because VBB2 is the voltage appeared at one of the junctions of this transistor. It is at the base. What about the emitter? Emitter voltage or emitter potential is here. It is nothing but emitter potential VE, we can say. This VE is completely depending upon the status of the transistor Q1, whether it is an on state or off state. Okay, if it is more on, then I current flows through the resistor RE, then VE, in, VE is nothing but IE RE, that product increases so that the junction voltage reduces here, uh, the cathode voltage increases, then what about this transistor? Transistor comes down, off, comes down to the cutoff region instead of inactive region. Hope it is clear. Suppose if the voltage VE is very small, then okay, it is in active region. If the voltage VE increases, then either voltage sorry, may be equal or more than that VBB2 so that the transistor Q2 comes into off state. Okay. So, see here, first I will tell you one thing. Initially, initially assume uh, v, okay, sorry, Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state. Okay, see, we cannot assume initially Q1 is in on state because input voltage is variable voltage that is given at the base of this transistor Q1. Whereas Q2 is connected with a fixed biased supply, so that's why we have to assume in such a way that Q2 is in on state and Q1 is in off state. Okay, then what about the current? flowing through the RE resistor, I1 is equal to 0 because the Q1 is in off state, no current flowing through this one. So, I1 is equal to 0 and I2 is flowing there, then that gives I is equal to I2, 
i is equal to i2. So, we can say V e is equal to B or i into R e, i into R e, okay, which is very low voltage because the transistor Q1 is in off state, there is no current that is coming from the short circuited path. See, this is short circuited path IC. In this path, you are having zero resistance. When this transistor is in on state, when there is a maximum current flowing through this one because I1 is equal to IC1. Understand clearly what I am saying. If this transistor is in on state, then I1 is equal to IC1. Then there exists a maximum current flow. Then VE increases. Then transistor Q2 becomes into off state. But it is not the case now. Okay. What about the opposite case now? RC is the resistor connected to the collector, which is a current limiting resistor. So, IT is in the, I2 is in the limited version always. Because I2 is equal to IC2 when it is in on state. Okay. So, this is the first case. What I said here, Q1 is in off state. Q2 is in on state. It is this one. Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state. Okay. So, Q1 is in off state, Q2 is in on state, then output voltage is equal to VCC minus ICRC. IC is nothing but it is from the second transistor, that's why it is IC2 into RC. See, it is in off state, it is in on state, so how to calculate the output voltage? Output voltage is taken from the collector of the transistor Q2. So, it is equal to in VCC minus of this drop across this resistor. Okay, so that's why VCC minus IC2 into RC. Now, coming to the second chance, increase the input voltage slowly. Of course, if you are taking a sinusoidal signal, definitely slowly the input voltage increases. So, when the input voltage increases, what about this transistor Q1? Q1 slowly comes into active region. It's, it is slowly coming out of cutoff region. Okay. This is the initial case. And the second case is when input voltage rises slowly then what happens q1 comes out of q1 comes out of cutoff region q1 comes out of cutoff region then what about the q1 q1 comes into on state and Q2 already in on state, that's why both are in on state, then output voltage is following the input voltage. Output voltage is following the input voltage. That's why there is a linear slope from here to here. Slope is equal to 1. From here to here, there is a linear slope occurred between input and output. Okay. This occurs between a certain voltages like V input voltage low and V input voltage upper values, lower values and upper values. In between these two, output voltage is exactly following the input voltage. Beyond the upper limit of this input voltage, then again, what happens here? If you still increase the input voltage, suppose to assume the condition at the peak voltage, then transistor Q1 is in more saturation region when more input voltage is applied then Q1 comes into saturation region, saturation region. In saturation region, there is a large current flow. There occurs a large current flow. So, what happens now? I C1 increases that gives V E increases. This makes the what is that cut in voltage V B E2. Now it is not sufficient. V B E2 reduces and results at Q2 comes into off state. That's why see the third case where Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. So, in this case, the output voltage is equal to, the what is the output voltage? How to calculate? This is on state, this is off state. So, output is equal to simply VCC because it is open circuited. This 
<coughs> sorry then output is equal to vcc okay the gap between these two levels the gap between these two levels when the output is in uh, when transistor q1 is in on state q2 is in off state then output voltage v out upper is equal, nothing but it is having a difference of ic2 into rc between the when input voltage is lower than the input lower value okay so this is the emitter coupled clipper where if you take the input signal see uh, you may have a doubt how the input signal is going to be clipped off okay take the same signal apply the input signal uh, sinusoidal signal see if input is a sinusoidal signal what happens here input is a sinusoidal signal and applying like this it is the upper limit of input voltage v it is the lower limit of input voltage input minus input vcc what is that value vcc minus ic2 rc vcc minus ic2 rc this is the lower limit of the input voltage what is this one vc into uh, vc ic into ic2 into rc this is the upper limit so output voltage will be like this so i am drawing the output in the red color marking it this is the output waveform okay same the transfer characteristics we have studied in the previous case if you apply the same here also the signal will be cut uh, like this okay so this is the emitter coupled transistor clipper which is used to cut the signal in both the positive and as well as negative peaks both the peaks positive peak and as well as negative peak okay it is also two sided clipper because the transistor is internally consisting of two trans two diodes okay thank you